Hi, I'm moody, I'm feeling moody, and it's time for a moon message. Let me take a drink of water. My mouth was so dry. I hope everybody's doing good. Today's reading, well, today's moon phase is a waxing crescent phase in the astrological sign of Sagittarius. This reading, though, is for Taurus. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node Taurus. Holy Spirit, angel guides, spirit guides, what is the love brief for Taurus during this waxing crescent mood for October? October. What's the message for October? Ooh. Okay, what's the message for Taurus this October 22nd? This is the last quarter of the year, October 2022. The last quarter, yes. Oh, those are too many. Okay, just those. All right, there you go. How do you want them? a little. I hope maybe sure we can see the cards. Yes. So you got unrequited love. Your first card. Taurus. I don't know if you're not feeling somebody or they're not feeling you. This is a general reading. Uh, it's not going to resonate with everyone, but this is also past energy. And I don't know where you are in this reading. Keep it in mind. You can be any place. There's a lot of Taurus energies. Mm -hmm. Taurian. I don't know. Okay. But either way, you know, somebody not showing you what you're showing them. It just wasn't happening. There's a lot of reasons for that. You know, somebody could be preoccupied with another love. And so you were told to make the effort, um, take some steps. You'll be guided on what steps to take, but it's time to get moving. Because this door is closed here. And so Spirit is saying, okay, make the effort. Let's take the steps. Your intuition has been talking to you. You know it too. Um, because it's talking to me too. <laughs> yeah. It's telling me that it's time for Taurus to move. And it's time for you to lift your vibration. It's time for you to open your heart. It's time for you to do the happy dance. It's time for you to do things that make you happy. Everybody is getting the message that their vibration has to be higher. Because, you know, we are in the last quarter. Yeah, I was feeling that. And the holidays are here. And you want to feel uplifted. You want to be light. Um, you want to spend happy times during the holidays with whomever you spend it with. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. That's the general message here. Mm. Eight of Swords. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I already want it. Right. Okay. Let me get some more cards. I'm being told. Taurus. Thank you. Oh, I get it. I get it, Spirit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. This was a painful past. Um, I don't know the whole story because there's always two sides to the story. Spirit just said that. But a lot of swords. A lot of swords. Um, it's funny. You have the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords in the middle, and the Ten of Swords. But all of these swords are pointing down. You know, this could, for some reason, is telling me maybe you haven't had love in the past 18 years, 20 years, 10 at least, 8 at least. I don't know. But because they're down, it's like you've gone through it, but you haven't walked away from it yet. And I don't know where you are in this reading, but that's what I'm getting from the past. But some truth and clarity came to free you and uh you were enlightened you, i feel like you take the steps start to listen to your intuition you know sometimes we get to a point where we surrender <laughs> that's the word we surrender like we don't want to fight no more you know um we allow the guide to lead and we follow and that's kind of where i feel you are that's what the truth and clarity brings. It brings the sun. It brings enlightenment. And because you're enlightened and you choose to just follow, um, it's easier. The It flows. Uh, the effort is lightened. Look at that. He's kissing her. They're eating apples. They're relaxed. And it, at a time when everything else is so heightened... Love is needed to make us relax, enjoy an apple. Yes. Life, we're not supposed to fight all the time. Mm -mm. And sometimes, regardless of everything else that is going on, we just have to make the time to do what Spirit is telling us to do. Even if it's to go to a park and just sit on a bench. To go to the beach and just look at the water. To get grounded with nature. You're being guided towards something new with the chariot. Plus, these are majors. I mean, God is showing up here to guide you. And that's why you should be taking these steps for sure. And that's why the chariot awaits you. I'm hearing the chariot awaits you, Taurus. Now's the time for movement. And it's effortless movement. Look at that. You may even have fun along the way. What? Come on. And it, what it's leading you to is great love. Not just love. Great love. <laughs> okay, spirit. Yeah, it's like, don't you want to go? <laughs> Watch, you got the sun, you got the chariot. These are majors. You're being guided. Mm, go with the flow. And, and then clarifying, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy is the princess of swords reverse. Don't lie to yourself about anything that happened with all of these swords. Because you do have truth and clarity now. You have some knowledge. So, don't lie to yourself. Don't carry the burdens of the past. When you start to take these steps and you, you become lighter and your heart feels better. You know, don't lie to yourself with the Princess of Swords Reverse or think about the past. Don't try and compare. The holidays is really going to be a time for you to be extroverted. With the Hermit Reverse, I'm feeling like this is the last quarter and it's time for you to be extroverted. Yeah, it's time for you not to you know, make a decision about anything. Just be out there. Be open. What's important is to be open, be lifted, sing, be happy, get out. Don't lie to yourself about anything. Don't carry any past burdens. That's right. Tell me more spirit qualified. 
Taurus, October 2022. Love. Yeah. Once, look at that. Two of Cups. Actually, these were reverse. Yeah, because this broke your heart. That's what it is. It broke your heart. This was definitely karmic. It was to teach you a lesson. And you learned the lesson. <laughs> From what I see, you've learned the lesson. And and not only that, you'll be living the lesson over the holidays. Mm -hmm. Look at that. The Nine of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Yes. Great love. See, the difference is now Spirit is bringing you great love. Not just love. Not just new love. You know, great love, Taurus. Whoa, your chariot awaits you. This is being enlightened to you. If you didn't know it, you know it now after listening to this reading. You know it. You know it because the Nine of Cups is about your cup, getting ready to give your cup of love. Right? And when the Queen of Cups shows up, that means you're giving it wholeheartedly, no holes barred. You're just letting it pour out. You're exuding it. You're being vulnerable. You're opening up. They can have it. They can have you. Mm. That's right. That's right. So, oof, dang. yeah, be open. That's exactly how you're supposed to feel. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and the star appears. That's correct. Because you are a star in October. Taurus, you're the star, you know. Somebody comes to see you, you go to see them. Be out, mingle. Don't lie to yourself about anything. Be lighthearted. Be lighthearted. Everything is good. Something negative appears. Five of Swords. Something negative appears to bring you down. Don't stay there too long. Prince of Swords. Yeah, on this lie, you have the Prince of Swords. Reverse the Prince of Swords upright. Mm-hmm. Get out of it quickly. See it for what it is. Mm. Any conflict that arises, see it. Anything that comes to challenge your good vibration, see it for what it is. And let it go. The magician is here. You are totally in control in October. Mm -hmm. Just stay in prayer, you know, but get out there. Meet people. And just by you vibrating high, thinking good thoughts, you know, being purposeful about bringing some holiday cheer, being upward, uplifted over the holidays. Yeah, that's what it is, Taurus. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Allow yourself to be uplifted. And anything that takes you from that feeling, eliminate it quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, last card. Eliminate. <laughs> I can't even do this. I can't make it up. I mean, come on. Spirit is like, this is his reading. What else, Taurus? Yeah, because you're in a, a time of transformation, no doubt. So bring an ending to anything that threatens that transformation. That's what it is, right? Because anything that's threatening you at this point um, has a limited outlook, a limited perspective, and they're limited thoughts. And, you know, you don't need those limitations right now. That, that's what Spirit just said. Yeah. And like I said, whenever something good is going on, Satan always shows up to try and interrupt it. But, you know, this is a good interruption. Some things have to come to an end. Just cut it. That's right. Don't care about how others feel. Just anybody bringing drama, don't care about it. Do whatever is threatening your value, your esteem, your worth, where you are. Cut it. Okay. That's what Spirit just said immediately. Mm -hmm. 
the holidays is important. It's calming. You want to be balanced. And Spirit's advising you to be out. It's not a time for making decisions about anything. Just be open, right? You're being open. You're having fun. You're singing. You're happy. It's important. You're, we're responsible for our own happiness. We are. Balance. Love is not always agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. You're being guided towards balancing yourself in preparation for love, keeping your heart open, being happy, mm -hmm. so that you're, it, look at that, ready for a new beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah, because this high, high vibrational energy is what's getting you ready for the holiday. See, the holidays are coming in and you have a new adventure, Taurus. There it is. God was preparing you, balancing you for love, for uh, supporting someone else, and for growing with them, challenging them. There's a new beginning that awaits you. And you're going to be able to embrace it because you're going to be ready. <laughs> yes. And you probably going to have this new beginning over the holiday. I'm telling you. Mm. It's important to take a step right now and spend some time. Instead of placing your focus on another. Because, right, if you're being guided... Spirit is saying it's important. If I don't know where you are in this reading. You could be here. You could be at the unrequited love state. But if you're in the process of making this effort of preparing to yourself to move on, healing yourself, you know, you need to know you got to do that. And sometimes you have to do that alone. And so Spirit has you focused on you to give to yourself. Now's the time to make the effort. You're you're like in a zone and spirit's guiding you a tunnel. It's just you and spirit right now and you're right where you're supposed to be. Yeah, cuz he's preparing you for this balance for this new beginning that awaits you. Forget this old unrequited love of the past. You got something big and great waiting for you. This is so wonderful. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me something else. Let's sum this up for Taurus. Ooh, tell me about this new beginning that awaits. Embrace it. You've learned something. When the student is ready, the teacher shows up. That's what I got from this muse card. And you're ready. You're ready. <laughs> Come October, you're ready. That is what I just got from that. And I hope you got something from this too, Taurus. October looks splendid. If you did, like, subscribe. Tell me what you got from it. Leave me your comments. The holidays are coming up. You're right where you're supposed to be. No matter where you are in this reading, look at the ending. Something new awaits you. So with that, if you've subscribed, I love you guys. Thank you for the energy. And if you haven't, keep listening. And until the next moon phase, Taurus. Namaste.